Hi, and welcome to this week's discussion of um, T and B cells and um, immune deficiencies resulting from uh, the deficiency or insufficiency of T and B cells. So T cells target and promote apoptotic killing, or rather that's like the programmed cell death. So the, of pathogen infected cells. So either directly or via um, cytokine um, activation of the neighboring immune cells. So basically the T cells come in and say, hey, you're infected, destroy yourself. Um, B cells manufacture antibodies that neutralize the invading pathogens and target infectious agents for removal or destruction. So basically they come along and they either neutralize them themselves or they, 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 they target it with, um, um, so the B cells function to defend against extracellular infections while the T cells function to defend against intracellular infections. And while T cells participate in the adaptive immune response and also in the elimination of extracellular infections, they are the main mechanism for targeting intracellular pathogens. Um, so viruses are obligate intracellular parasites whose reproduction and, and life cycle, um, reproduction particularly, um, relies entirely on the host's body cell. Now, bacteria are typically extracellular, though they're facultatively, or rather optionally, or, and in some cases, obligate intracellular pathogens. So um, th those two distinctions are very important um, because patients with a T cell deficiency, they're going to lack the mechanisms to defend against those intracellular infections, such as viruses. And so they will therefore be, um, have an increased risk of viral infections. So T cell insufficiency can, can be either a result of hereditary genetic conditions or acquired conditions. Um, patients with a T cell deficiency, such as those with, I'm gonna destroy this word, dyskeratosis congenita, congenita. Uh, it's a genetic, they suffer from uh, a bone marrow failure, which is where those T, those, um, T cells are, are developed. So they have an increased risk of developing life-threatening conditions and infections. Um, patients with B cell deficiencies, they'll lack the mechanism to defend against those extracellular infections, such as, the, such as bacteria infections and so we'll have an increased risk of bacterial infections. And often it presents, especially with people with um, uh, genetic or, or um, hereditary um, B cell um, insufficiencies, uh, bacterial infections will present very early in life. So B cell insufficiency can also be a result of hereditary or acquired conditions. So patients with the B cell deficiency, such as those with uh, X-linked agammaglobulin anemia, agammaglobulin anemia. That's a big word. They're characterized. So this is a genetic disease, and they're characterized by reoccurrent effect, infections starting at around six months old, and um, it progressively gets worse. They ended up. They end up with a, a lot of of um, bacterial infections throughout their life. And, and they too um, have an increased risk of developing life-threatening conditions and infections. Um, most primary immunodeficiencies are related to defects um, within the adaptive immunity. Um, it's very rare for, for defects within the innate immunity immune system to result in immunodeficiencies. Um, and they're closely related to the failure within the lymph, um, either through genetic traits or through stressors, such as trauma, um, therapies, traumatic therapies, uh, repeat infections, and such like that. I hope that helps, and I look forward to hearing from you all.